This is going to be a review of long division. So remember, um, maybe you know, at some point in your math career, you had something like oh, 5,239 divided by 23. And they told you, OK, take the divisor and put it here, and then make the little division house, and put the dividend inside the house. And then you started to divide, right? So you would take 23, and you'd say, how many times does that go into 52? So maybe you're thinking it goes twice. And then you had to multiply, right? 2 times 23, which was 46. And then you had to subtract. So see, I get 6. And then you would bring down the next digit, right? And then you'd go again. So you'd say, well, how many times is 23? How many times is 23 go into 63? So maybe you think it's going to go twice. And so you'd go 2 times that, which is 46. And then you'd subtract. And what would we get? 7 here, 17. And they taught you to check and make sure that 17 is less than 23. But it is. And then you'd bring down the next number, which would be 9. So then you'd say, well, how many times is 23 go into 179? And so we're thinking it's uh, maybe 7 times. Let's try 7. 7 times 23, which is 1. Carry the 2. 14, 15, 16. And 8, and when we subtract, and we get 18. OK, and then we had a remainder. So at some point, someone taught you to do this process, <laughs> hopefully. And I know sometimes, though, you know, students don't remember how to do long division, or maybe they were absent that day in school or something. But when we did this division, our answer, our quotient, would be 227. And then you would put the 18 over the divisor and 18 23rds, you know, something like that. Whoops, I wrote that wrong. I put 222. <laughs> it was supposed to be 227. OK, something like that, the long division process. Well, we're going to do something similar, but with polynomials. And it's actually going to be better, maybe. <laughs> OK, so I think um, maybe in a previous video, I had something like this. Something like that, where I have a polynomial, a trinomial, divided by a binomial. So what you have to do is you have to set it up. This is the divisor, so you're going to have x plus 2. And then inside, you're going to have the polynomial, the dividend, the x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now, there's a couple things. One, you have to make sure that the exponents, the exponents are going from smallest or from largest to smallest. So it has to go in order, x squared, then the x term, then the constant. Or if you had like x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 7. You know, it has to be in that standard form. Also, you can't have any missing terms. So if you just had like x, four, x to the fourth plus x squared, you'd have to write it as x to the fourth plus 0x cubed plus x squared. You'd have to have that for a placeholder. And I know it looks weird because it's 0 times x cubed, but it's a placeholder. And you'll understand that more when we go through an example, but I just thought I'd throw that in here. OK, so examples in the next video.